U.S. stocks staged a late-day rally, closing up modestly to kick off the second quarter on Friday, as the monthly jobs report indicated a strong labor market. The Dow finished up four-tenths of a percent, the S&P 500 ended a third of a percent higher, and the Nasdaq closed up more than a quarter of a percent. Kevin Nicholson is chief investment officer for Riverfront Investment Group's fixed income assets. I think that the market turned positive in the afternoon because investors had the opportunity to, to digest the jobs report this morning and to see that there is strength in the economy. And so looking forward, they are thinking that the economy may not slow nearly as much as uh, people had anticipated or predicted uh, down the road. And so as long as companies can continue to meet their earnings expectations, I think that uh, what investors are saying is that they're willing to uh, rally the market. And I think that that's uh, really why it came back. The Labor Department's employment report showed a rapid hiring pace by employers while wages continued to climb, although not enough to keep pace with inflation. That heightened expectations that the Federal Reserve is likely to become more aggressive in raising interest rates. April tends to be a strong month for stocks, and most mega caps started the new quarter in the green, but not Apple. Shares slid Friday, but paired much of the losses by the end of the session after J.P. Morgan removed the company from its list of most preferred stocks, saying slowing demand for smartphones would likely hamper growth. It also dropped Qualcomm from its analyst focus list. The chipmaker's shares also recovered somewhat by day's end, but still finished almost 4% lower.